Hey guys, GameWee3800 here once again, and today, Dell Precision M4500. If you saw my last video, you should know that I mentioned about um, upgrading the RAM. And I'm just going to show you how to do that. Step 1, loosen screw. Step 2, remove back plate. Step three, remove RAM cards. This is two two gigabyte um, PC 8500S, so the slowest speed of DDR3 you could possibly get in the whole universe. Get those out. We are going to be giving this unit, not that card. We are going to be giving this unit um, supposedly 8 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz RAM. I just want to see if it'll boot okay. I had not tested this, so I do not know if this will work. But, if it does work, um, you shall see the video description as success. If it fails, it will have a fail custom um, thumbnail. I'm just taking advantage of this open case while I'm at it here. Just tighten down, tightening down some screws. Step four. Put back cover back on. Step five, tighten screw. Step six, test. It's not blinking or beeping. So that usually means it was a success. Up came the screen. Now, the amount of memory has changed. To continue, press F1. I'm now going to see if Windows 7 will boot. If it doesn't, then that means it has failed. If it does, then that usually means success. Usually the max for lower end Computers like this is 8 gigabytes, and it looks like it's reading all 8 gigabytes of them. Hooray! Question is, will it stay running though? Windows 7 Ultimate. At this point, I wish I had a 2 gigabyte. Um, 1600 megahertz card so that I could use that, but apparently I don't We're now going to go to system Control panel And system and yes as you saw this is the Alienware edition of a Windows 7 Ultimate, and yes, it's reading all 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1600 megahertz. This thing is maxed out and ready to roll. Success, finally. I think I'm getting somewhere again. I think I'll cut this two month break short. Maybe. But as you know, probably from the last video, um, I am going away next week, so no videos, unless something really interesting happens. Which probably won't happen. I'm just going to say hi to Grandpa. That's it. So, Windows Experience Index needs to be refreshed. I'll do that off camera. I'm sure it'll stay the same number as 5.9 since that's the hard drive rate. But I'm sure the RAM will shoot up to like a 7.2 or something and be the height of the system. 
But I'm glad this worked. I don't know why it didn't work on the E6410 because it's working just fine on here. And as I said earlier, um, in my review, I'm just fine in the M17XR2. Granted, the BIOS doesn't read it, but the operating system reads it just fine, so... Yeah, I don't get it either. But, yep. Thanks, Game Boy Out. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.